Hello, beloved. In John chapter 2, we have the story of the Lord's first miracle. Now, John is the most mystical writer of the gospel writers. In chapter 1, he records uh, four days. And then in chapter 2, he, sa- he begins, and then on the third day, there was a wedding in Cana. Why the third day? What is John telling us here? Uh, first of all, we must understand that there are four days mentioned in chapter 1. He begins on the third day, so there are three days in chapter 2. Uh, The idea is the four days, the third day, you have seven days. Uh, John is alluding to uh, creation. On the third day of creation, the Lord spoke the waters, the land, the plants, the herbs, the grass, the trees into existence. And twice... On the third day of the story of creation, he says, it is good. Now, Jews, even to this day, on the third day of the week, uh, plan to have their weddings. Uh, The third day of the week is on Tuesday. (laughs) And so this is what was going on. And if you read the story, you'll find out that they are running out of wine And Mary brings to the Lord's attention, they don't have wine. Basically, she was saying, son, fix this. And he says, my hour has not come. But he acquiesced, being a a, a good uh, Jewish son, uh, he listened to his mother. And uh, he performed his first miracle, he told the people, he says, you see these six jars over here full of water? Uh, The six jars were for the purification, the hand washing, a a very important part of uh, Jewish ceremonies during holidays, weddings. Basically, these jars were used, people would dip their hands in there and wash their hands, or they would have a cup and they would pour the water over their hands. Anyway, the dirt, the filth, the grime, what was ever on their hands ended up in the jars uh, of water. So these are filthy jars. And the Lord says, see those six jars? Yes, Lord, we see those six jars. He says, fill them up to the brim. Fill them up with water to the brim. These filthy, putrid jars full of stuff that fell off their hands. Uh, into the water, and then they presented it to the host, this water, and it turned to wine. In fact, it ended up being the best wine ever. Uh, It was an act of conversion from dirty, filthy things to the purest, to the most wonderful of wines. The third day is important. Uh, We read a lot about the third day in Scripture. It was on the third day Moses went up to the mountain, uh, there were uh, there was thunder and lightning, and the camp shook, the mountain shook, and Moses received the law, the Torah, the instruction. And of course, it was on the third day that our Lord rose from the dead. Oh, my. His first miracle was on the third day. His last miracle, if you will, uh, obviously not including the ascension, which was a miracle and all the things that he did post-resurrection, but I mean, generally speaking, the first uh, miracle was the turning water into the wine. The last miracle, if you will, was his resurrection on the third day. The third day is a very important day. Um, It's a very important number in the Bible, uh, number three. Why am I telling you this story? The story of the third day, turning water into wine, it was an act of creation. You see, it takes time for grape juice, you know, the fruit of the grape, to turn into wine. But the Lord spoke. He says, do this, and this miracle happened. 
when Moses ascended up the mountain, thunder, lightning, God spoke. Uh, God spoke on the third day of creation. He said it was good. It was good. Two times. It is good. Uh, the double blessing. Again, this is why Jews get married on Tuesday, for the double blessing on Tuesday that is written down in the Torah. Listen, it was an act of creation. Water to wine. Uh, creation is timeless, but that's another story. You know, you talk about evolution. I mean, God can create things old, you know. That's what this is, but that's another story. So what is my point here? It, it, this, this wedding was the revelation, was the beginning of God revealing himself as power of who he was and is. All things were created by him, for him, through him. Because of him, he was the word that spoke things into existence. He uh, converted the dirty, filthy water into wine, and he converts sinners to saints. Aren't you so glad for that? He can do the miraculous. He can look around. What do you have? I have a jar full of filthy water. The Lord says, I can use that. What about you? What, what is in your hand? I have a stick. Moses, I will use that. The Lord will use you. He will turn this, this filth, this imperfection, into something profound that he can use for his glory. So, beloved, I want you to think about that. On the third day, at this first miracle, at the wedding feast, he turned dirty, filthy water into the best of the best wine. So sometimes when you feel that there is no hope, uh, sometimes our feeling of being overwhelmed, you know, events can blind us from seeing what is right in front of us. These jars of water. We are a jar of water, as it were. He can use you and turn your flaws and use you Use that imperfection and turn it into something wonderful and profound and a blessing to all. Shalom and blessings. Beloved, always remember, time is short, life is precious, and Jesus is coming soon. And until he comes, we are together under his wings. Dr. Jeff, Shalom.